Far away from battlefields and refugee camps in Syria, dozens of women are being given a second chance to be part of a nation they chose to leave. Along with them, more than 70 children who had no say in the matter. As most European nations stall in repatriating their citizens who went off to fight for ISIL, or at least support ISIL fighters, the semi-autonomous region of Kosovo has brought back the largest group so far. An important and sensitive operation was organized in which the government of Kosovo, with the help of the United States, has returned 110 of its citizens who were in war zones in Syria, four of whom were fighters, 32 women and 74 children, including nine who lost their parents in the war. The U.S.-led coalition says Kosovo has set an important example to follow. That's after making a name for itself in other ways. With a population under 2 million, the tiny Balkan territory produced more ISIL fighters per capita than any Western country. Ethnic Albanians played some big roles in ISIL recruitment efforts. The most notorious of them, Lavdrim Muhajeri, was likely killed in a U.S. drone strike in 2017. Dozens of others he inspired have since been jailed or indicted as part of the government's efforts to stamp out support for the group. But European countries worry that evidence obtained on the battlefield may not stand up in court and that families of ISIL fighters could be a security risk. Our aim was clear, not only to make sure that our citizens are not part of foreign conflicts, but to take concrete measures that the ones who already are in those zones come back to their homes. We have worked for months to make this happen. These children are innocent, according to Kosovo's government, and may have a chance at a normal childhood after all. But other European governments will now face greater pressure to take back their children, still stuck at camps in Syria. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.